Hey guys, this is Laura of the Knit Girls and I'm reviewing Trindles. You can find them at Trindleman on Etsy or if you're fortunate enough to have a fiber show in your area that has Gail's art as a vendor, she sells them in her booth. They come in two separate parts. The first is the shaft of the spindle and you, there's multiple different woods that you can purchase. And then there's the little arms and you can buy all sorts of different beaded little arms. So they come in these two separate parts. This has a carbon fiber shaft and it goes into the little ball right here. And all three just scooch right in. So it's nice and portable. You can take the arms out when you're going someplace and just leave the shaft and it spins like that and we're going to do a spindling demo in a couple seconds. I also wanted to show you sizes. So this is the mini trindle behind my big trindle. This I would use for lighter weight fibers. So I'm trying to spin a lace weight of a buffalo silk blend on that one and you can see that it is a much smaller single than what I would typically spin on a heavier spindle. The downside of using something that's a smaller spindle is you can store less fiber on it, but uh, also is more likely to spin backwards, and I've been noticing that a little bit with my smaller trindle. I love these, and when I show you how to spin on them, they seem to spin for forever. So we'll go to that part right now. Hey guys, this is Laura from the Knit Girls, also known as Lala, and today we're doing a product review of the Trindles. What I'm spinning on right now is the full-size Trindle, and you can see right there, it's got the three arms, and I'm just winding on the fiber that I've already spun into yarn, hooking it around one of the arms, and the hook at the top, and then I'm going to start it, I'm spinning in a clockwise fashion, get my Z-twist on. Oop, I stopped it as I was drafting. So you start it spinning and draft, or you can pre-draft a little bit. And basically what I have is this big chunk of fiber in my hands, and I'm pulling that to the length that I want and adding twist. And really, that's all spindling is. A trindle spins just like any top whirl spindle that you might find elsewhere. It tends to go a little bit longer than some top whirls I've spun on before, but again, that's all a matter of weight and other stuff. And when I get it to where I have a good enough amount spun for me, I stop it, I park it, I flip it off and add that fiber down below the arms and just wind it right on. Wind it on and then just start spinning like I was before, leaving a little bit of a leader to get me started and draft. I'm just pinching and drafting. And really, that's all there is to spindle spinning. Just spinning those singles up. The important thing is to try to make sure that your thickness is the same and that the yarn that you're spinning is heavy enough to support the weight of the spindle or the trindle in this case. That's all there is to it. Bye, y'all.